Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to pitch out with your dipping pole. I'm using the 13-foot one. I wanted to use my 16-foot, but unfortunately there's a tree above me, so um, one of the main things you've got to make sure is that you have the proper clearance. So when you set up your rod, sorry, your pole, you should have maybe a foot to a foot and a half or maybe two feet less than what the length of the pole is. This pole is 13 feet. I've got about uh, just a little over 12 feet of line on it. And I've got it set up with a river float. I've got a one uh, small slip shot and I have the hook. Now this hook is weighted so it does give a little extra um, swing to it. So what you need to do is hold your pole at about a 45 degree angle or a 50 degree angle. Make sure there's no obstructions in front of you like weeds or tree branches or anything like that. And simply just swing it down, swing the tip up and then drop the line into the water. Some of the uh, bass anglers are probably very familiar with this type of uh, cast. It's a sh flip. Some call it flip. Some call it pitching. But all you're doing is using the momentum of the pole, the line and the pole. I'll do it one more time. Hopefully you can see it. Let it swing down as it gets to the bottom. Flip up the, the just flick up the top of your, your pole and lay the pole down and just let the line fall into the water. Now, of course, there are other ways of doing this. You don't have to um, you don't have to do it this way. You can just throw it out or just drop it in. I don't recommend that you slingshot it. Um, notice how the, t the tip of the rod is bending. If you do that, you can break the tip of your rod. You can also end up with a hook in your hand if you don't get it out of the way or you can get it snagged on something. So one more time, just hold the pole out at a 45 degree angle. Let it swing down like a pendulum. Boom. And I'm about, I don't know, a good tw uh, 20 feet out there in the shade. Good place to go fishing. So now I'm going to bait up and I'm going to give it a go. Well, y'all come back now, you hear?